Welcome back everyone to my week 11 video. Before we get into the picks, just to look back at the comments from my question in week 10. What are your guys' bold predictions for week 10? I said my bold prediction last week would be that Jimmyus Winston and Matt Castle will combine for seven touchdowns in the air. That was absolutely wrong as they combined for zero passing touchdowns. That is just upsetting. Out of 50 bold predictions, let's see the lucky few who got it right. Jacob P. correctly stated that the Broncos and Chiefs would have a combined five turnovers in the game, but no one saw five of them coming from Peyton Manning. Billy B. was also correct when he said that Carson Palmer would throw for three touchdowns and 350 yards in Seattle. He actually threw for three touchdowns and 363 yards, but what's 13 yards anyway? Michael B. stated that the Lions would find their groove and win a nail-biter in Lambeau, which was a very gutsy call, but turned out to be right. The only reason that game was a nail-biter was because of freaking Matt Prater. What a bum. And last but not least, Andrea Huat, I hope I said that right, stated that the Vikings would shut down Derek Carr for his third straight game with four-plus passing touchdowns, and the Minnesota defense held him to two touchdowns, so that was also correct. Congrats to you guys for correctly predicting those bold prediction stats. It'll definitely come again in the next few weeks, so be on the lookout for that. On featured games last week, I went 2-2 two two across the board. That's not terrible, but it's not great either. Looking to get all those percentages up around 70% by the end of the season. For my question in week 11, with a lot of the games having very small spreads this week, who is your lock for week 11? And I'm talking against the spread, I'm not talking straight up. I want you guys to go through, I use the website covers.com, it gives you the spread. A lot of the spreads this week are very low, as a lot of the underdogs won last week. But who is your lock to win against the spread next week in week 11? Write it down in the comments below. Now I think it's time we get into the games. The first matchup of the week, we will look into my own team as they welcome in the Indianapolis Colts. Now, both teams are coming off a bye week, which means that both squads will have a sufficient amount of rest. The Colts went into their bye week with a huge win over the Broncos, and the Falcons went into their bye week after losing to Blaine Gabbard of the 49ers. With Andrew Luck out for a few weeks with the lacerated kidney, I think Atlanta gets back on track this week and puts one in the win column. I think Hasselbeck will put up numbers, and he has proven to be a great QB, so I'm taking the Colts plus six. Six points is way too high for a struggling Atlanta team, especially after losing their last home game to the Bucks. I think Atlanta will win 27 to 23, so let's take the over. It's time for this Dan Quinn-led defense to show people what they're made of. They're gonna need to take care of at least four of their next seven to make the playoffs. All I have to say in this one is, wow. Both of these teams completely shocked me last week. The Vikings rose to the top of the NFC North while the Packers fell apart in an NFC North divisional game. I like the home team in this one, especially when they have the hot hand at the moment. That minus one point is nothing. This game could range from a pick'em to Minnesota being favored by three points by the end of the week. So I'm pulling the trigger at minus one. I like Minnesota to win 23 to 17, so let's take the under 45. And the Vikings are about to take a comfortable lead in the NFC North. There was no other games this week that really piqued my interest, so I'm going against what I said in the past and I'm going to take the Chiefs. I don't think I've correctly predicted a Chiefs game yet this season. If you're smart, take the Chargers, but I'm hoping this week is the week it turns around. I'm taking the Chiefs straight up and against the spread. I think the Chiefs could beat the Chargers 30-23 to in San Diego, so let's take the over as well. I'm hoping my picks this week get me out of my 2-2 two two funk I've been stuck in the last two weeks. Let's jump right into the fan favorites. First things first, you can see my record for the lock and upset of the week under my icon in the top right corner. For my lock of the week, I'm taking the Philadelphia Eagles over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, I have a lot of respect for the Bucs after beating the Cowboys in Tampa, but I think their playoff chances get shut down this week when they travel to Philly. The spread is way too high for Philly, so I'm taking the Bucs against the spread, but Philly will win straight up, even with Dirty Sanchez. The upset pick of the week, I'm feeling the Dallas Cowboys to upset the Miami Dolphins. Now, it has not officially been said yet, but I'm assuming that Tony Romo will be playing in this matchup. With that being said, I think Romo gets his team back on track with a win, but it may be too late for them to make a playoff run. But anything can happen in the NFC East. Last week in the Fantasy Football League, I ended up losing to the last place team in Robert's Sports Show. You guys might have some idea when it comes to having a high caliber team and having them shit the bed when you need them the most. Next week, I'll look to get back on track against Billy B. The top six teams get into the playoffs, and there's only two weeks left in the fantasy regular season for us. 
A quick update for my ESPN Eliminator Challenge. We have finally some movement at the top. Now, it is difficult to say who is the leader this week as I am trying to do my videos on Monday nights now if I have the time. As of right now, Half Moon Picks is at number one for picking the Panthers in Week 10. John Harrington, 78, is still awaiting the outcome of the Texans-Bengals game. I'm assuming he picked the Bengals to see if he remains in first place. But a lot of underdogs won last week, causing quite a stir in the Eliminator Challenge. If you guys want more videos like this, then show some appreciation by hitting that like button and smashing that subscribe button. I will see you guys, as always, in week 12. And to leave you guys at the end of this video, I'll leave you with week 10's bold predictions for this past Monday's football matchup between the Texans and Bengals.